Hey guys, welcome back to Star Ooh, of the Universe here. Wow, Taurus, the moon popped out. Hmm, secrets, secrets, secrets. Um, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. If you don't follow me on Instagram, feel free to. I go live every Sunday for week ahead readings. Um, the chariot just popped out. Um, I also go live for the new moon and full moon readings. Okay, uh, I did post up the new moon in Leo. If you guys want to go ahead and check those out, those are zodiac specific messages. Uh, we are here to grab your mid month check in. Okay. Um, I did a collaboration uh, recently with Joey from King of Aloha Tarot. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out. Um, it's a pick a card reading for the car the closure you need from your karmic connection. Remember to keep in mind that it doesn't have to be your ex, though it can be. Just keep an open mind for who you're watching for. Um, also, go ahead and check out um, Pacific Solea's music. I'm going to have the link right next to... Um, right next to the collaboration link and then you guys don't forget to shop local and support local business by checking out their iVisions clothing okay all right <clears throat> let's jump in Taurus Taurus August all right you have the nine of wands energy here you could be dealing with the sagittarius but it's always teen time eternity endless moments and repetition you're tired of hearing the same shit over and over and over again taurus yeah because you, you notice the uncertainty that it causes either you or somebody that you're directly dealing with and it's really hard to manage to be glad or manage to keep this person happy or keep this person um like in a stable enough state where things could be inhabitable yeah see with nature of communication and a moment's regret i almost feel like you're constantly walking on eggshells you're constantly like tiptoeing around this person but with wake up under the deck this is your moment you need to i feel like you need to you need to either a speak up for yourself Taurus or be there's going to like like keep rep uh, running into this cycle again and again eternity here like this conflict it just keeps it keeps going and going going and going like the energizer bunny here okay you could be dealing with the boss figure here with the king of pentacles you could be dealing with the father figure you could be dealing with the baby uh baby daddy here with the ace of cups but somebody just keeps running you into circles and i feel like somebody could be leading you on with the ace of cups here like a promise like of a healthy fruitful like brand new beginning here but I feel like this person, you could be dealing with the Leo or an Aries here, maybe a Scorpio with the Ace of Cups energy. But somebody's just, somebody's stopping themselves from taking action towards you. It could, it could be a Scorpio again with the Six of Cups here, but it could be somebody from the past. But I feel like they see you as their wish fulfillment. And I feel like with the Zodiac wheel here, I feel like they know that their time is running out. Yeah, and they need to balance themselves here with the Six of Pentacles. This could have been an unbalanced relationship. That's why it came to an end. Yeah, with the bridges on top of the deck, I feel like you burnt this bridge because you didn't have time for it. You just faced your true north and you continued on your path, Taurus. As should be, right? And that ultimately brought you to this King of Pentacles energy or Queen of Pentacles energy. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like this... this um, this Aries, this Leo, or this Scorpio here is um, is really trying to balance out some kind of, some kind of communication. Maybe somebody's trying to balance out some kind of um, some kind of records or um, some kind of monetary transactions here with the Six of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, the Queen of Cups. 
Yeah, they want they want stability with you. They actually see you as I think that this King of Pentacles doesn't know how to approach you, uh, Taurus. And the thing is that they know that you're highly intuitive. They they feel like you could feel them from a mile away. Yeah, look. So they're busy making the choice. Like I like I'm telling you, like they they know that you were dealing that this. You know and they know that they were dealing with a karmic in the past that was very clingy. Could have been a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. But this person didn't want to let go of your person. But your person was right behind you the entire time. But you see with her, with the knife right here pointing down, you weren't communicating with this person. You were queen of swords in them. Even though they know that you're their queen of cups. You could be dealing with the Scorpio again. Very strong Scorpio vibes. Gemini energy here. Strong on the board. Yeah, but this person knew that they were deceptive in the past. They could have been hiding their feelings from you time and time and again. They could have been hiding from you that they had an obsessive ex or an ex I'm hearing obsessive co-worker. They, they had somebody, a, a karmic attached to them that was full of deception that actually projected this per, this deception off on them and it had a lot to do with this with you two not communicating with the sword down here yeah see with the queen of wands here this person was very um um i feel like this person was very sexually manipulative to your person yeah let's see the queen of wands and the magician here you could could be dealing with gemini again or a virgo but this person, uh, I feel like, uh, misuse and abuse their communication. I feel like this person tried to make it out that you were the sex magician. Um, I feel like good witch, bad witch here, Taurus, <laughs> honestly. Um, take it how it resonates, but I feel like somebody could have been dealing with a very low vibrational um, uh, practitioner here, like who thought they were in competition with you, not realizing that you did, like, you're, you're an earth you did earth magic here i know it's the queen of cups but you know the queen of cups is naturally intuitive not um doesn't have to deal with sacrifices and whatnot and the queen of cups is run by their emotion not by passion like they they run with their heart where you know i feel like the queen of wands runs through their root chakra right sexual energy yeah see what I, what did i say taurus Taurus energy here. You're the Queen of Cups. You're the Hierophant. You're the high. You're the one with the higher guidance here, and it comes naturally because you deal with light magic. Whereas this person is very manipulative in nature. Like whether they're dealing with magic or not, it doesn't matter. It's neither here nor there because this person is just uh, like I'm hearing a fucking liar. Yeah, but look, this person wants to be the King of Cups to your Queen of Cups. This person doesn't want it. Like, I'm hearing, I don't want to be a player no more. Yeah, so they cut out the third party here. Why? Because their their commitment was always to you, Taurus. They're just healing from this cutout. Like, you just need to give it time. Yeah, because your ships are coming in regardless. Just give them, give them a little bit. Because I feel like with Wake Up Under the Deck, they're just waking up to the... To the realization that the, that they've been giving you empty promises somebody may have just waken up that they've been leading you on and they do not feel good about it look what i want to be queen the queen of wands again and this person i feel like is tightly behind them still this karmic but this karmic can't hold them back from you anymore no with the mirror card here you could be dealing with the twin but this person has broken away from this karmic and even if this karmic comes running behind them this person is going to you and what's going to end up happening, I feel, is like you're going to put a, t a stop to it. Yeah, Taurus, because you have the wisdom here that this person doesn't want to let your person go. Even though this person's coming t directly towards you. Remember, the chariot card did fall out in the beginning. You could be dealing with the cancer. But this is your moment. Once again, wake up. This is your moment, the present, revelation of your own value. It's, it's about time that this person comes back to you because they, I feel like they feel like they deserve you. Yeah, because they took the time to, to like contemplate on what it is that they really wanted, and they actually realized it, it, it. Like it's as clear as day. It was always transparent. They've always wanted you. Yeah. So you just need to let let a higher force take over for a little bit, Taurus. But this is coming back together for you. All right. I hope this helped. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.